Well, when you picture a 54 kilo national boxing champion, chances are you don't picture Burlington's Scarlett Delgado, but you should. Nikki Wesley spoke with the champ before she flew to Finland to compete in the international GB tournament tomorrow. To this day, when I tell people I box, it's always the same reaction. What? Really? You? Oh, I guess you don't get hit that much. Scarlett Delgado was raised by her grandparents. When her beloved grandfather passed away suddenly right before her 13th birthday, she didn't react well. Concerned, her grandmother reached out to her father, a former boxer and gym owner, to help keep her on the right path. He was hard on me. He was very like, okay, like I'm teaching, so if you're going to be here, you need to do something while you're here. And he gave me tasks to do. Like He actually started me with kickboxing. So he had me doing one kick for 30 minutes while he taught a class. <laughs> Not many people thought, oh, he's teaching her. No, he just kept me busy. <laughs> With her competitive nature, it wasn't long before she was asking to compete in the ring. Her father, Rafael Delgado, said no, repeatedly. In an effort to compete, she joined the school wrestling team instead and won first in Ontario's novice division. Unfortunately, she dislocated her hip. But that didn't stop her. Finally, her father agreed and she got into the ring for the first time when she was 17, facing a 29-year-old who was 5-0. and oh. I just opened the round, the first round with a big straight right hand and I knocked her completely right on the ground. And I, she was surprised, I was surprised, dad wasn't surprised, but you know, then the fight continued and I actually ended up stopping her in the third round. And it was it completely exhilarating and I thought to myself, this is what I need to do. But she was still wrestling as well. After she took fourth place in the wrestling nationals, Raphael told her she needed to pick a sport to focus on. When you get punched in the face, you really realize how human you are. You know, it, you, it shows you your limitations and what you're willing to handle. It's a very harsh environment if you're, you know, for the first few times. So it really, like I said, it teaches you how to push yourself in those limits and it teaches you like do you have that fight in you or do you want to run away. During the pandemic she began as a sparring partner for two-time Olympian Mandy Bujold. She's the perfect person to teach me and the perfect person to learn from because she's got the most experience and is the most skilled within my weight division. So wherever she was going if I wasn't training with my dad I was going there. That decision led her to start training with Sid Vanderpool three years ago. She always asked, you know, like, what can I do better? How can I be better? And uh, that's always a good sign for uh, a coach to see an athlete that really wants to actually get better and improve. And it's shown. Uh, it's shown uh, if you see Scarlett's fights two years ago, we went to Poland uh, and, you know, we fought one of their top uh, Polish top champions. Uh, you look at that fight compared to where she's at now. Um, it's, you know, uh, head and shoulders above, and so she's just continuing to improve, and she puts the work in, and, and that's why. Because of the pandemic, Scarlett was named to the national team in 2022 based on an evaluation. This didn't sit well with her because she didn't feel she'd fought for her title. In February, she officially won that title in the ring. And then winning the second fight in the fashion that I did, it was super important for me. It was super big. It was a huge milestone that I've been chasing for now like 11 years. And finally grabbing that title, I was just like, oh, the ecstasy. Exciting. You know, I've always seen that potential in Scarlett, which is part of the reason why I've always had her as a training partner. Um, so it's nice to see her finally come into her own and really just like take the limelight, which she deserves. Instead of working three jobs like she has in the past, she's focusing now on her training and looking for any local sponsors to help ease the financial burden. With the 54 kilo weight class officially added to the 2024 Summer Olympics, she's got her sights on the podium. It's not for me just about boxing, it's, it's a life lesson. It's about never giving up on your pursuit of your purpose doesn't matter what the obstacles, doesn't matter what the adversities that come in here, everything in due time. And as long as you keep showing up, because none of us deserve anything, there's many people out there that work their butt off for years and still never obtain those goals. It's about showing up every day, giving 100% at that given moment, and just to keep showing up and keep showing up and keep showing up. And you're worthy of those beautiful things in life. Follow the purpose and you'll get there. Reporting for Halton News, 
I'm Nikki Wesley.